Today, we are diving deep into the magnetic force of the 1111 portal. This is the second most powerful manifestation period of the year next to the famous Lion's Gate 88. And let me tell you, this is not going to be your typical manifestation episode. We're not here to set pretty intentions and hope for the best. We are here to crack open the matrix, hijack your reality, and transform you into the undeniable main character era of your life. The universe doesn't hand out starring roles to understudies. So if you're tired of watching your dreams play out in someone else's life, if you're done with settling for supporting character, energy, doing the backup plan, settling for okay, this is for you because in this next hour or less, I'm going to show you exactly how to harness the power of this 1111 portal to quantum leap you into your highest timeline yet. What up, my people, my posse, my fellow crazies? It's your host, Tiffany Carter, and this is the show that is going to help you grow your business, your bank account, that big, beautiful brain of yours, your relationship, your abundance, and everything in between. Now, if you have been feeling out of sorts to the point where you're like, I may need to go on extra medication or check myself into an institution, this is actually a good sign. Here are the top seven unsuspecting signs that you're about to have a manifestation surge. So if you are having, I would say, four or more of these, even though they're uncomfortable and a lot of them are painful, this is actually a top tier sign that you are right there. You're on the precipice. This is actually happening. All that you have been calling in, all of that you've been praying about, what you've been waiting for is about to unfold. Do not give up. Do not lose hope. Do not say fuck it. Do not start phoning stuff in. You're going to want to take your foot off the gas. You're going to want to go into hiding. You're going to want to stop it all. You're going to want to give up. And this is that very important period of all year that I need you to do the opposite and trust and have faith and take contrary actions. First sign, drastic shifts in your energy. You go from feeling totally exhausted, even though you slept, into having energy surges. And this can change all day long. And you're like, what the hell is wrong with me? You might even only have like one or two hours of any form of energy in a day, or you might even feel like you're a little manic -y. Number two, body temperature changes. You're going from extremes, hot and cold. I'm experiencing this now. So if you're watching on Project Me TV on YouTube, first of all, you need to be subscribed over there too, because I'm just saying it's a vibe when you can also watch and listen. And then those of you who like commenting in real time while you're listening to an episode, it helps you integrate and learn more. And that's what goes on over here. But I'm wearing my mushroom robe that Mike truly feels they look like penises. So my mushroom penis robe. And I bet you at some point during this episode, I'll have to rip off this robe because I'm cold right now. And I'm not someone who even gets cold. And the reason these first two unsuspected signs happen is because your energy internally, your cells are calibrating, are preparing to be a match for your manifestations that are at a different frequency and it's aligning and things are moving and morphing and changing and shifting. And that's why you're having these forms of body discomfort. And there's more. Third one, increase synchronicities. You're seeing your angel numbers and everywhere you are seeing feathers, you're seeing coins. You might even have a visitor from a, a spirit guide of yours, one of your angels, a loved one who has passed, you even have had thoughts of somebody and then all of a sudden they email you. You may have been talking about going on a trip somewhere or that you dream of having a house somewhere and then all of a sudden someone mentions it on TV. And this is all to show you you're in alignment, you're in alignment, you're in master manifester zone. Number four, this one is so painful and I don't say that lightly. I have been going through it quite a bit this year. I call it the peeling off. It's the snake shedding its skin and it's losing relationships. 
you either have to cut people off, distance yourself from people, or you're getting clear signs and experiencing things from people that are so hurtful where you're being forced to disconnect from them. The universe is trying to say to you, this person can't go on to this part of your journey with you right now. That doesn't mean they can't catch up later, but right now they can't. And in fact, if you keep trying to drag them along, you keep trying to smash a round peg into a square hole, you're going to hold yourself back and you're going to block yourself from the abundance that you're headed for. And I really hate this part, especially someone where my friends are my family, since I don't have any blood family. My only living relative is my mother, who I'm no contact with. So it's painful and it feels very personal. It can feel very abandoning. It can trigger a lot of your wounds. And I just want to validate that for you. Like it sucks and just know that it's happening for your greater good. And in fact, the greater good of all, because often when we have to disconnect from someone and we're letting go of them, we're also letting that other person follow the journey that they're supposed to be on right now. They're supposed to be doing something different. They're supposed to be going through whatever pain. They're supposed to be sitting in their shit. They're supposed to be doing whatever they need to be doing and us removing ourselves out of the way because their journey is none of our business. Number five, this goes back to what I said in number one and two, stomach issues. You're, you, have, you have a loss of appetite. You're constipated. Maybe you have the runs. You feel bloated. Again, lots of energetic shifts happening. And remember the gut brain barrier, right? Like your gut is directly tied to your brain and that's been proven. So you've got a lot of stuff going on in that crazy brain of yours. You're going to have a lot of stuff going on in your stomach. Number six, this one always freaks me out when this happens. And then while I'm in it, at some point, usually a couple hours in, I'm going, that's right. This is what's happening. You feel animalistic. Your senses are heightened. You can hear like a pin drop in a crowded room. People's chewing irritates you. Your senses are really, really high tuned. Like some perfumes are real turn off to you. Things are feeling very potent. Even fabrics on your skin, you feel them more and you are being fine tuned. Just like you look at an old fashioned radio and you're having to tune that dial just right in order to get the static out. That is what is literally happening to your energetic body. Number seven, you're feeling fucking off and you don't know why. You're like, I'm not PMSing. I've been sleeping. I've been moving my body. I've been eating well. I don't have anything like particularly insane going on in my life. And I just don't feel quite right. I know I'm not sick and, it, and it's not lifting. And you're like, what's going on with me? Some of you have been there for months. Some of you have been there most of the year. Some of you may have only have been there for a week, but I want to validate that. And that's part of what's making you feel like you're going crazy because you wake up every day and it's like Groundhog's Day and you're like, why am I feeling like crap? Why am I feeling out of sorts? Why am I feeling blah? Where's my zest for life? You're also being forced to rest right now and be in an area of reprieve because this is also what's prepping you for game day. Just like professional athletes, they rest or marathoners, they rest before the big race. They're not doing some crazy intensive training the few days leading up to the event. In fact, rest and recovery is the most important part during this time period. So trust that this is happening for you because you're needing to rest more right now in order to best prepare your nervous system, your brain, your physical body, your life, your energetic field to receive what it is you're calling in. I know I just gave you a lot because you're like, oh my God, like what? If you have all seven, if you have five, whatever it is, I want you to put the number, take a screenshot of this episode, share it in your Instagram or Facebook stories or on TikTok and tag me at Project Me with Tiffany. I'd love to know how many of them you have. And if you're loving this episode so far, or you've been talking to a friend about 
weird things that have been happening, share this with them because you even getting this validated is also going to increase your mag your manifestation field because you're like, oh, this is why all this is happening. I'm being prepared for my ultimate next level. And when we're being prepared for that, a lot of people assume that you're supposed to be feeling super great and you're supposed to be high vibe. In my experience of doing this work for 20 years, both with myself, being trained by master professionals, by me coaching people on this topic, I don't know anyone who feels great before the manifestation comes in. There's usually a lot of turmoil, a lot of wonkiness, a lot of up and down, a lot of unsteadiness, a lot of like crazy brained activities that are happening, almost like a disoriented feeling because you are literally going away and shedding that old self in order to step into your new self. Of course, that's out of sorts. I mean, what would you say to a kid, like a preteen that's in middle school going through puberty? That's like all over the place. You'd say, this is normal. You're going through this transition in life. This is what's happening on a cellular level with you. This is a big change, bah, bah, bah. Well, it's no different. You're going through a growth period. That's what's happening to you. You don't have to actually like necessarily physically morph, but some of you are going to. Some of you are going to notice on the other side, a lot of inflammation going down you're going to feel better in your body. You might even lose weight. And I wanted to make sure I did this episode so you can set yourself up to really multiply and best leverage this potent period. I don't proclaim to be someone who does like astrology. I'm interested in that stuff. I like it, but that's, that's not the perspective I'm coming from here. I'm coming from the perspective of money mindset, from manifestation as a spiritual based entrepreneur and how to leverage these fantastic quantum physics and energy that we can tap into to make everything easier so we can work more or work less and make more, right? Like this is one of the key ingredients of the recipe of being able to do that. We're going to go into a really cool guided visualization, and there's some simple instructions I'm going to give you around it. If you want to really accelerate the results from it, you can simply listen while you multitask, while you're walking, while you're in the shower or the bath. You can listen as many times as you would like. And then I'm going to give you some clear questions and prompts. And I would ideally want you to write down what comes up immediately for you. If it, you feel more called to draw something, you feel more called to create some kind of a piece of art, you feel called to sing something, do a video. There's no right or wrong with it, but I do want you to translate what comes up in your body and in your mind onto some sort of paper and some sort of physical form that would be ideal but first since i'm over here at the quiet house where i have like so many card decks that i forgot about i love a card deck obviously i've created my own affirmation abundance card deck but i'm pulling from one of our posse members a former client of mine krista cocott and a beloved canadian you know i love my canadians she has a beautiful deck. So if you're watching on Project Me TV, you'll be able to see how beautiful this card deck is. And the name of her deck is Reconnecting with Your Truth. So I just felt very called that we need to pull from this deck today. And whatever we get, we're supposed to get. I'm shuffling them. You can go look and see to verify it. I mean, I'd hope you trust me at this point. Okay, let me pick a card. Ooh, this visual is beautiful. I'll turn it around. I stop trying to make everyone like me. I believe in myself more than I believe in anyone else. 
I stop trying to make everyone like me. I believe in myself more than I believe in anyone else. Wait for this image. I mean, how stunning. The images are just gorgeous in here. And even if you're not seeing this, you don't have to actually see the card, but you were supposed to get that message. I was supposed to get that message, which is why this message was chosen for us. And I wanted to have something that was going to help spark and guide me into giving you the visualization, the abundance that you're intended to receive today on this special day. And if you happen to be listening to this and it's not 1111, don't tell yourself a story of I'm too late. I missed the portal. No, you didn't. Trust that you are listening to this exactly when you were meant to listen to it for the greater good of all, period, end of story. If you have not done my guided abundance walks, you absolutely are going to want to get those as well. They are in the show notes. You can swipe up and get them. It's at projectbeamatiffany.com forward slash season of abundance. And they are designed for you to use in forms of movement. And this will take you very quickly in three minutes or less out of fear, out of scarcity and back into the abundance zone. And there is something coming extra special that I've been asked by thousands and thousands of you over the years to create. And it is coming out next week. In order for you to get first dibs on it, you do need to be on my secret posse weekly digest list and you can swipe up. That's in the show notes. It's in the description here on YouTube at Project Me TV. And we're doing a limited run of how many people can get this. I'm so excited. So there's two things coming out that you will be shooketh over. And one of them we've been working on almost all year and I'm so beyond humbled, excited, nervous, shooketh over this finally coming out, trying not to be in perfectionism about it. And I know that it is going to be exactly what it is supposed to be at this given time, because thinking any differently will only put me into a state of paralysis of, oh, it's not good enough. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do that. And maybe that's something that you need to hear today. Maybe you are in that phase of struggling with perfectionism, which does come back down to this card, really, of stop trying to make everyone like me. You know, that's a form of people pleasing when you get into perfectionism. And then that creates procrastination. It creates avoidance. It creates I'll do it when I'll do it once. And then nothing ends up getting done. And the reality is what is most perfect for people are when something is imperfect. You know how many of my emails, and I know you guys love receiving my emails, and I love when you reply back. Don't ever think when you reply back, they go unnoticed. I know how helpful and powerful it is to be able to write a reply back or share some of your story with someone you know who has the capacity to receive it and who gets it. I'm not necessarily going to be able to obviously write back to all of you, but I want you to know they are all received and they are all read by me. They are definitely screened because if there's, you know, some crazy stuff, I I don't want to see that. And we've, you know, we've had, we've had some crazy things (laughs) come through there, but I have a special email series that I have been putting out where I'm sharing excerpts from over the years of starting Project Me with Tiffany Carter, the podcast and the business coaching brand from my journal. And you guys have been really appreciating that because it's so easy when we look at someone on the outside, someone where they're at now, it's like, well, they never felt this way. They must have had more confidence than me. Tiffany is all about the, you know, the zero fucks, zero fucks given. She's all about that. So she's able to do this, that, and the other. You know, she was a newscaster before, so she already has the skill set. We make up all sorts of stories. And when you get to peel back the curtain in that level of depth and vulnerability, you see that 
I struggle with the same things as you. In fact, a lot of times, even more so than what you do. The difference is, is that I make a choice to show up regardless and to do it anyway. And I set myself up so that I have to show up. And that end of itself is scary. I spend the money so I show up. I hire the people so that I show up. I have accountability markers so that I show up. If I didn't do that, none of this would happen. Same with even this very podcast episode you're listening to. If I didn't set up a cadence and a promise to my community of you getting two episodes a week and we have a production schedule and I have people hired that help with the graphics, that edit the show, that put the stuff out, all the things, all the moving parts going on, I have to show up. I have to show up for people who work for me. I have to show up for all of you. I have to show up for myself. I have to show up for God. I have to show up for the universe. And if you don't set things up that way, and it's just all based on self-will, you'll be able to easily say things like, I'll do it once I feel this way. I'll do it once I am more confident. I'm waiting for the day to feel more motivated. Oh, I want to get really clear on what I need to do first. I need to get the right equipment. I need to lose weight. It's all bullshit. If you're being called to do something, you're being called to do it now. You're being called to start now. You're being called to shift now. You're being called to put that story out now in your current state. Because what you love in particular about the show, and I appreciate you so much, is you love that it's messy. That's where I was going with the emails. There's typos in the emails. Of course, we try not to, right? But there's typos in the Wall Street Journal. There's typos in major legal documents, right? There's a retraction section in every major publication in the world where they cite their weekly, their weekly retractions and edits that are caught. Like, it's not that fucking important. And you know what's important? It's important for you to see that you don't need to be perfectly well-spoken all the time. You can lose your train of thought. You can give a bad analogy. You can talk from your ass. You can swear. You can talk about the universe and you can talk about God. You can talk about none of it. You can have a very clear opinion on something and it's it's all allowed and it's all okay and it gives other people permission to do the same and it makes you human and it makes you relatable and it builds intimacy and trust with your people. So always striving to be perfect and not wanting to alienate anyone, offend anyone, you know, oh, I better not talk about this and what will this person think and that person think. You'll end up putting yourself not just in a box, you're putting yourself in a cage and allow today, allow this portal to be the time of the year so you're not carrying this into 2025. Allow it to be the day, the time period that you set yourself free of this cage that you've built around yourself with all sort, all the bars are different rules and regulations and stipulations and excuses that you've created and you've boxed yourself in. And you're the one who has the key. You can sit there and claim someone else has the key. The government has the key. The boss has the key. The husband has the key. God has the key. You have the motherfucking key. And it's up to you. And there's no one coming to let you out. Not me. Not a spirit. Not magical manifestation. Not you winning the lotto. It's you. And as soon as you really embrace that and are an acceptance of it, that's the beginning of your next level of ascension into manifesting what you want. So going into this guided visual visualization that we're doing, make a choice that I have an intention of letting myself out of this cage that I have built and I've built it unintentionally. I'm not going to shame myself for being in this cage. Because that's just going to keep me in the cage. You know, there's bars up there from childhood. There's bars up there from society. There's bars up there from other people's bullshit. There's bars up there from toxic relationship. There's bars up there because of the self-abuse I've inflicted on me through gaslighting myself, through emotionally abusing myself, emotionally neglecting myself, 
physically neglecting myself, spiritually neglecting myself. And my intention is to set myself free. And it does not need to be some long, arduous process where you're taking a butter knife trying to get out of a cage. I want you to visualize you opening your hands and you can be in any position you want. There aren't rules here. So don't start thinking this is some sort of formal meditation where you have to be cross-legged and you have to be still and you have to do this and that or the other. I don't do rules like that. I don't, that don't fly with me. I want you to be in whatever state you need to be in. Some people listening to this, maybe you're neurodivergent, you're ADHD, you need to like be doing laundry at the same time. As long as you're not in a dissociative state and you're doing, I call them dumb, dumb activities, you're doing an activity that you can kind of do robotically. So you're not, you're not really distracted by it. It's more of like using like a fidget toy. I'm completely fine with it. You can be in the shower. You can be doing your makeup. You could be at the gym. You could be cooking. You can be in complete stillness. You can lay down. I want you to ask your body what it wants to be doing during this. But I do want you to visually, and you can do it physically as well if it feels good to you, I want you to open your palms so that you can receive this beautiful golden key. This is the key to letting yourself out of the cage. This is the key to unlocking your next level of abundance. It's been sitting here. What you've been wanting, what you've been manifesting, the support, the money, the clients, the friendships, the love, the partnership, the lightness in your body, the energy, the zest for life returning to your soul, the clarity of mind, the peace of mind, what you've been focused on manifesting and praying about. I want you to have your hands open in a receiving state because you're going to receive this key, this beautiful gold key. And maybe it's not even gold. It's whatever color you visualize. It could be a shiny purple metallic key in my case. And it's a very simple key and you get to walk over and let yourself out of the cage through this visualization and know that's the intention, meaning this is happening. It's not a, oh, I hope by the end of this, I let myself out of the cage. No, you are letting yourself out. This is happening. You've walked into a store You've been in the store for a while and you get to walk out at your own free will. You've just forgotten this. You've gotten so weighed down and so burdened by all the weight of all the chains of all the bars on this cage that your nervous system and your body and your mind has forgotten that you can leave at any time and you can escape this at any time and you never have to fucking come back in here ever again. And it's up to you. There's no one coming to hand you the key. The key has actually been in your hands this entire time. Maybe it, maybe it was in your back pocket, like your phone, you forget. Like when I was looking for my phone the other day, frantic. And then I, at some point, 10 minutes later, I realized it was in the back pocket of my jeans. Like maybe the key was there and you forgot. Maybe you put this beautiful key in a special box, just like we put important things in a special space, or we're actually trying to organize ourselves and we organize ourselves to the point where we can't find anything. That's all. And we're putting it back in your hands to remind you if you're new to doing any sort of visualization work with me and you are watching me on project me TV on YouTube, I close my eyes. I'm channeling through the universe. I'm channeling through spirit. I'm channeling through something outside of myself. So you'll often see me rocking. I have some strange movements. My, so I just want you to know that like, if you're watching it, you're like, well, what is going on with Tiffany? That is what's going on with me. Okay. This isn't coming from my ass. This is not pre-planned. I'm simply channeling this for you for the greater good. And I'm a conduit that's speaking in, into this for you. It's almost like I'm a translator for you. Okay. I don't, I'm not a healer. I'm not 
I'm not saying I'm any of those things. I am one of my main purposes here in this lifetime is to be an ultimate translator for you. Cause I know so many of you can hear me and you can't hear a lot of people. And for whatever reason, you can hear me and I take that very seriously. And I'm so happy that you found me. Mm, I want you to take a deep breath. And whenever I listen to anything that's guided and someone wants me to take a deep breath, I get a little annoyed. It's like, I don't even want to take a deep breath. That even seems like a lot of work for me. And I just want you to know I get that and I validate that and we're taking the breath anyway. I would really prefer it if you have an auditory sigh out. I a lot of times do like a lion's breath, like, ah, and I open my jaw and stretch my tongue out because there's so much tension that we hold in our face, we hold in our mouth. I now allow myself to receive universe. I hear you. I know that I have been keeping myself in this cage. I've felt so weighed down. I've felt out of sorts. And I didn't want to be in here, but I didn't know how to get out. And the longer I've been in here, the heavier and harder it seemed and the further away it seemed to be able to get out. And I now know that is just an illusion in my mind. It's a manipulation of my mind in order to keep me stuck in space, in order to keep me out of growing into my next level of abundance because my nervous system and my ego and past traumas that I've had, they're scared of going into something new. They're scared of going into the unknown. They're scared of growing and morphing and ascending because we don't know what it's going to be like there, but we know what it's like here and the familiar feels safer. And it's simply doing everything it can to have its grip on me to keep me in, a, in this cage. And I'm no longer allowing it. I'm no longer going to adhere to it. I'm no longer giving attention to it. I'm no longer going to partake in that and listen to that. I'm going to let those thoughts go. That's just noise. That's just static in the channel. It's simply not true. And I appreciate my nervous system wanting to keep me safe, but ultimately it's not keeping me safe. It's keeping me trapped. It's keeping me in pain. It's costing me so much financially, physically, emotionally, energetically, and spiritually. And I know that, and I'm open to releasing. There's so much that you are meant for. There's so much that you're wanting to step into. And it's all right here for you. And it's not going to unfold all at once. That would short circuit your entire system. And right now, imagine yourself, whether you're sitting or you're laying down and you're inside this, this cage, and this isn't an evil cage. You're inside even a golden cage because it is a cage of protection. It's understandable why you've ended up in this golden cage. You've done it to protect yourself. That's all these behaviors are and beliefs are that you've stacked up over the years of telling yourself, I'm not enough this to do this. I'm too much of this to do this. I'm too old. I waited too long. I'm too fat. I not smart enough. I've waited too long to get into this and the market is saturated for what it is I want to do. I've tried everything and it doesn't work. I don't have the energy. I'm not sure that I can really have what I want to have. Are my dreams too big? I know I've had so much success already. Who am I to even want more? Isn't that selfish of me to want more? Shouldn't I just be so happy and grateful with what I have? And so on and so on. 
because you're yearning for more and desiring for more, that's because you're being called for more. This doesn't have anything to do with you not being grateful and appreciative for what you currently have and all that you've accomplished and all the abundance that surrounds you. It gets to be better and better. You get to have more and more. You don't receive a cap on abundance. You don't receive a cap on love. You don't receive a cap on support. You don't receive a cap on wealth. That's not how any of this works here. It's limitless. And if you know that you're being called to do something bigger, to do something greater, to expand, to help more people, to be more visible, to have more impact, to have more delight and energy and vibrance and inspiration and cre creative expansion in your life, it's because your future self and those manifestations are saying, we're right here. We're calling for you. We're actually beckoning for you. We are right here. We're waiting for you to release what is weighing you down and holding you back from coming to your next level. We've been giving you the signs. We've been showing you in your body. We've been dropping feathers and coins and rainbows and things in your path so that you would know that we're here and it's time and you're ready and you're not crazy and you're not delusional for thinking this and you're not just in some fantasy land. This is really here for you. You get to really have this life. You don't necessarily get to have it all at once. It's all going to unfold in perfect divine timing for you and in perfect divine order. And sometimes we have to have things happen in a certain order in order for things to unfold for your greatest good and for the greatest good of all. And all I'm asking you right now is to trust that and to release what's been holding you back and to feel safe in stepping forward. It is safe. It's beautiful here. What's on the other side of this is a giant exhale is the feeling like you just had this beautiful deep tissue massage and then a scalp massage on top of it and then even a facial massage foot massage on top of that with beautiful oils and you get to lay there truly for as long as you want afterwards and there's no time constraint and you don't have to rush off somewhere else and you get to have that tingly light floating feeling that is here and that's available for you. As long as you allow yourself to be in the state of knowing that it is here for you, not even possibility, but knowing it's here and it's time and you're a match for it. What comes to your mind right now when I say you're a match for this? And I put out my hands and I do a display gesture with my hands. You're a match for this. What is the scene that you see before you? What is it that you're a match for? Is it a family? Is it a home that you want to buy? Is it a beautiful expansion of your business? What is this? It might be as simple as a scenery. It might be as simple as a symbol. But trust that whatever you're being shown, it's revealed magically as like the hand spread before you. You're in the golden cage, but you're seeing what's outside the cage. Like someone put a beautiful high-end HD, glorious panoramic scene of the abundance that you want. What colors are there? What symbols are there? Who is there? Who isn't there? What isn't there? How are you feeling seeing this beautiful scene? What are you hearing? Is there a sound? Is there sounds in nature? Is there a certain song? Is there some kind of instrument playing? Is it in pure blissful silence? Are there chimes? What is waiting for you? You wouldn't have seen this entire picture if it didn't already exist. It's just existing in a frequency that you're right there. You're almost right there of reaching, but you get to reach it. You don't have to wait 
for someone to magically touch you with a magic wand. It's up to you to be a match at that frequency. It's up to you to release yourself from this cage. Are you going to release yourself? Is it time? You know it's time. I bet you even nodded your head. It's time. In fact, it's long overdue. It is time. Where is that key? Where is that key in your body as you're standing in that, in that cage? Or you might be sitting or laying down in it. Where is the key? Mine was in my back pocket all along, and I forgot it was there. Pull out this key. What color is it? What's the weight of it? What does it look like? I want you to look at that key that you're holding in the palm of your hands and know this is the key to unlock your next level of manifestation, your next level of abundance, your next level of wealth, your next level of love and health and vibrancy and delight in the wonders and awe that this world provides you, that spirit provides you. Because it only gets to be better and better and better. You don't reach a cap. It's limitless abundance. Mm. What are you going to say to yourself before you go to let yourself out of this cage? The door is right in front of you with a big lock. It's almost like it's out of Alice in Wonderland. How big the hole is and how big the key is and how easy it is and obvious it is to let yourself out. What are you saying to yourself as you go to walk over to let yourself out of the cage? What do you need to say to your old self as you walk out? Nothing mean. What does she need to hear? Because you are saying goodbye to her. You are saying goodbye to him. Part of you carries forward, but that old self is an old operating system. And there's layers of you that had to be shed. Some of you had to shed one layer. Some of you had to shed many to go into this next level of ascension and step into this next level of abundance. What do you lovingly need to say? Do you need to say thank you for getting me this far? Do you need to say words of compassion of I understand why you put yourself in this cage to protect yourself because many people hurt you and life is fucking hard and I understand. And it's okay. We're safe now. We're safe to expand. We're safe to receive. We deserve this. I've got you. What are you saying to her? I want you to take that key and place it in the keyhole. And it clicks and turns so easily and effortlessly. And you let yourself out of this golden cage. And as soon as you step out, you're met with the most beautiful, warm breeze that has the most beautiful fragrance. Like you're stepping out on like either a perfect spring or even a fall day where the temperature is just perfect and the sun hit your, hits your face just right. And this is how it gets to feel. You don't have to sacrifice anything to feel this way. This is how it gets to feel. It's safe here. And trust that it's safe here. What is your new version as you're stepping in literally right now to this new version of yourself? What's the first word that comes to your mind? Maybe it's a couple words. Maybe it's a statement. <laughs> the light that I had on me for recording this episode on YouTube literally just went off as I said this and you want to know what my word is? Lightness. And if you're watching on YouTube, you'll be able to tell that the light went off right at this time. 
you'll be able to tell by my energy, I'm not making this up, that this is pure, undeniable evidence for you of the power. The power of the universe that when we slow down enough to tap in and remind ourselves that we have the key all along. You can stay in this beautiful spot for as long as you want. You can also make the choice to slowly open your eyes. And I just want you to slowly look around you, notice some things that are around you. So you're grounding yourself back into reality. That was reality too. We're combining the both but this is like a physical reality. Ideally, what I'd love for you to do in your journal is to answer some of those questions that I asked you in the visualization, you know, put it to paper. I know you answered them in real time, put some of those to paper. Maybe you need to get out some markers and draw it, draw that scene, draw that symbol that you saw, uh, really write out in a beautiful font the words that came to you. Lightness. I know that I have this desire to take really fun pens. I have glitter pens and script out the word. Lightness. I'm going into my season of lightness. Wishing you all great health, wealth, and worth as always. Love you so much. Please share this episode with someone who you know will greatly appreciate it. I would love to see if you really got a lot out of this. And if so, please write a five-star Apple podcast review and reference this episode. You can put your name or TikTok or Instagram handle in the review if you like, because I love shouting out the reviews. Otherwise, you don't have to. And on Spotify, you can tap the five stars. On Project Me TV, you can leave a comment and make sure you subscribe. And when I know that I see enough people and we see enough people who've screenshotted and are sharing the episode, that's how I know to create more like this because this is for you. As much as I delight in doing this, why I delight in doing this is to pay this forward as someone who's a little further ahead in the journey and put more bricks on this beautiful golden path that we're in. Love you so much.